Well, something that inspires the goodness in all of us, seeing folks doing good deeds to help those in need. Here are three recent headlines of people proving kindness wins. Coming in at number one, Jupiter, Florida police officer Guy Kitchens donated his kidney to a retired first responder he'd never met. I've been very blessed. I got two beautiful kids and a beautiful wife, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna give a little bit back, do what I can. Guy received an email that told the story of Jeff Cooper, a man who suffered from polycystic kidney disease and needed a new kidney. Usually you delete them, whatever, but I don't know why, for some reason I just read through it a couple of times. I couldn't get it out of my head for a couple of days. That inspired him to get the life-saving surgery, which of course created a life-changing bond. Thank you. I mean, my pleasure. how do you say? You don't have to say it. I have a feeling uh, he's basically be part of the family now. I became a cop because I wanted to help people and I wanted to save lives and whether you run into an active shooter or gunfire or give a kidney off duty, it's still saving a life. I mean, donating a little piece of you literally to someone in need. Can't think of anything kinder than that. At number two in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Good Samaritan snow shovelers were caught on camera. They were shoveling the sidewalk, the walkway, the driveway. They were getting snow off people's cars. And we were both like, wow, that's really, really nice. This anonymous crew went down the block, clearing driveways and cars to help their fellow neighbors. I would like to say thank you. I thought that that was extremely generous and kind. Such a cool thing to do for your neighbors. And third on our kindness wins list, smile Faith Foundation is a nonprofit that offers free and low cost dental work to veterans. It helps us so much on so many different levels because a lot of veterans are income based veterans, um, which means that they pretty much own a fixed income. They operate out of Florida and Kentucky and recently hit a milestone, reaching over $20 million worth of charitable service to not only veterans, but human trafficking and domestic violence survivors as well. We really have to honor the veterans that have kept us, our, our country, what it is today and the freedoms that we have. And to be able to work with these veterans is, is truly an honor. And those were a few stories proving why kindness truly wins.